Hi, welcome back. I am Akhileshwari. In this video, let us see how to cal how to count the number of working days, excluding the weekends as well as public holidays. Public holidays differ for each country and each state. So currently, this example I'm considering Australia for NSW. In NSW, these are the public holidays for the current year. So I have entered these values statically, manually I have entered these values and I need to create a relationship for this public holiday date and existing calendar date. I'm just making a relationship between these two tables. Now, let us write a measure. Firstly, in the existing table, we can see for a particular year, a month and number of working days. Let me add the count of public holidays. Count of pu public holidays will give me for a particular month, how many public holidays other than Saturdays and Sundays. So for Jan 2021, there are two. So the number which we are expecting is 22 minus two. So number of working days minus count of public holidays will give me the requirement. So now I'm adding a measure. I need to subtract the number of working days minus count of public holidays column. Let me add this measure. Yes, this is what expected, right? The number of working days minus count of public holidays. This will become your current working days for it each month. In some requirements, we may need to consider the number of working days. In that case, you'll go with this uh, column. In some cases, we need to exclude the public holidays. In that case, you will maintain a static table and manual, uh, like, and you will make a relationship between the existing calendar and subtract these two columns to get the working days. Hope this is very useful. Thank you.